We start off with what the 2015 is bringing for the Aries. Well, the planets, the main planets that are going to have an effect on you in 2015 are Uranus, Jupiter and Saturn. Uranus is heralding change, so be prepared to change and experience those changes. Expect nothing, but be prepared for everything. Jupiter, which moved in into Leo on July 17, 2014, makes for a beautiful aspect for you till August 11, 2015, ensuring a very happy period. After August 11, Job seekers are pacified with the choice jobs. So it's better to be patient till August. And after August, you will definitely land with your dream jobs. Saturn has been in Scorpio, your eighth house, for the past two years. Now, it moves into your ninth house, which advises you to look into the quality of things, people and situation, not the quantity. Spiritualism awakens and you will find a lot of manifestations of your thoughts, the transformation within your own self and you'll awaken to what actually life is all about. Now those were the planets. Now the year 2015 is sure going to be an year of power for you. This applies to all the areas of your life, be it personal or professional. Your relationships strengthen and people appreciate you more than ever before. That should bring in confidence. With all the bravery that you possess inside you, there seems to be a lot of anger which you need to deliberately cultivate and channelize it constructively. Health remains robust. Occasionally, you will be dissatisfied with what you have accomplished so far in life, which means lay down your targets and reach them before the year 2015 ends. Despite your ongoing career frustrations, the instinct to express oneself intensifies. March offers creative surprises. From August, practical steps to alter life directions will reap rich rewards. December opens financial doors and plenty of opportunities. Now I'm going to go into a little detail where your love life is concerned, finances are concerned, money and your career. We start with the love life. Do not pay too much of attention to the heart this year. I know I'm asking for a bit too much but always being emotional tends to be distractive. So be practical and positive if already in a relationship, in case you are single, then be ready to mingle and enjoy life as it comes. Concentrate on making money and relationships will automatically happen. Endeavor to avoid conflicting situations, arguments as small confusions can affect your relationships. Right time to let go of emotional baggage. Do not indulge in any gossip. Give and gain respect. Use your mind more than your heart. Well, finances. This year speaks of abundance, both financially as well as success in your status. Promotions and remunerations are in order. Keep your expenses low or in check. Balance your sheets and look into good investments. Control spending on what you desire and spend on your needs. Even though it is a year of abundance, yet a check is required. You will come into legacies and inheritance is very much seen. Be wise and invest before you splurge. Career may feel a little stressed out in the beginning, first half of the year. The second half picks up and you may find yourself immersed in various projects. Foreign trips are evident for business and pleasure. 
your professional life will bring in special rewards and recognition in the second half of the year. Be confident of your ideas and put them to use. Eventually, you will slowly and steadily move towards your professional goals by the year end. Overall, 2015 will be a year of professional progress provided you are convinced of your ideas and of your ambitions. I am here going to give you a career tip which will be applicable throughout the year. Keep your motivations high and complete all your unfinished tasks before starting new ones. A meditation mantra for you. I am an immortal being of light. I am one with God in perfect union and harmony with the universe. If you repeat this a few times, whenever feeling low, it will lift your energies up and make you rise and shine. Basically, the mantra is telling you, go with the flow. The higher energies have a special design for you. Good luck.